What is up guys? Today we're back in the back room at Jimmy Suds for the second week in a row and we're doing a little bit more work on the sprinkler system. If you missed the video last week, I expanded zone one over to a new area where we're going to be adding grass. While I was doing that, I noticed some issues on a couple of the other zones. So let me go show you what's going on. here on the section of zone one that was added in last week's video. As you can see now, all of the rock is gone and the majority of the trench has been refilled. One of the issues on this zone is right up here. As you can see here, this head is poking up way too high. And the reason for that is some dirt was added to the trench before this sprinkler head was put back into its place. Or so I was told at least I was not responsible for filling the trench back up, but that's one of the things that we will be fixing on this zone today. And the second issue is this head right here. See how that's only popping up about one inch? I've got no idea why it's doing that, but we're gonna get started by digging this up and seeing what the issue is. So the fact that I can't even pull this out of the canister tells me we might have to replace the entire head. Oh man, that's interesting. I've never seen that before. So check that out right there, guys. Something must have hit this thing. And that is why it was only popping up about this much. Taking a closer look at this sprinkler body I just pulled out of the ground, something appears to have hit it right here, which is probably catching the bottom of the riser, preventing it from popping up past here. Because as you can see, I can try all I want, but that is not going anywhere. So this entire body needs to be replaced. I'm actually really curious as to what caused that. And it is for this reason exactly why we keep a couple of spares around. So as you can see right here, we've got two spare four inch pro spray PRS 40s right here. Brand new, still have the flush cap, all that good stuff. And uh, no big hole in the side. Let's see if I can manage to get this uh, nozzle off of here. Uh, this is not going to be fun. Almost, almost got it. There we go. Oh, and there goes the wiper seal. So here's the nozzle we pulled out of this thing. This is a uh, MP1090 to 210 degree. The wiper seal actually still seems to be in pretty good shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up and uh, we'll keep it as a spare just in case. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get this spring out of here. Oh, there we go. That, yeah, that should actually still be usable. Cool. It looks like the only thing we really lost here was the canister. I don't think I'm going to be able to get this riser out of here, though. Yeah, no, there's no way. This is just sticking too far into the interior. Let's see if we can actually get a look at that. Eh, you're not really going to be able to see it too well, but it's uh, catching right on the ring for the uh, ratcheting riser. So because we don't need to flush that line, I'm just going to go ahead and switch our MP1000 onto this new body right now. Take off the flush nozzle just like that and thread in the old MP1000, which was still working perfectly fine. Just like that. And now we have our complete unit that's ready to be put back in the ground. So we're gonna go ahead and thread this new body onto the underground plumbing right here. Just like that. And we're gonna go ahead and hold it vertical while we backfill the dirt. Eh, 
and that's looking pretty good right there. So we're gonna go ahead and turn the zone on and get it pointing in the right direction. And there we go guys, check that out. We now have our full four inch pop-up functional and it's actually spinning at the proper speed now as well. And yes, for those wondering, we will be keeping this spare body cap as well, just in case we need a spare. But there you go. That's one of the issues fixed already. So as I mentioned earlier in the video, the other issue we need to address on this zone is this head right here that's sticking up way too far. So we're gonna go ahead and get on that. That is much better. We're gonna go ahead and get this zone turned on one last time just to make sure this is still pointing in the right direction. Well, that's pretty much spot on. All right, streams are ending right there, which is right exactly where I want them. So there we go, that's fixed now. So our final fix for tonight is over here on zone two. Let me show you what the issue is. We've got quite a bit of overspray on this area. That one's gonna get turned down. The one you see spraying way over here into the parking lot is right over there. So this right here is a Hunter MP3000, and I have no idea why I thought it would be a good idea to put one of those here. So we're gonna be changing it out with this Hunter MP2000 right here. So we're gonna start off by opening up this brand new MP rotator. There it is right there. Next step is to pick up the riser, just like that. Gonna go ahead and remove the MP3000 and thread on the MP2000. And it's just as easy as that. This is kind of neat. It looks like our network is down right now, so I'm unable to control the sprinkler system remotely, which means I have to go in the back room and do it manually. Yes, guys, that is the actual time right now. So we're going to go ahead and go into zones, zone two, and start. Guess we got to put in a time too. We'll go to, I guess, seven minutes. It doesn't really matter. I'll be back in here stopping it. It's not too terribly far off from where I want it. We're gonna go ahead and get our left edge lined up. Just like that. And the last step is to get the right stop adjusted. And that's looking good right there. It's no longer going past the property line. Well, my beloved camera battery decided to die on me. So I'm gonna run in here with the iPhone and uh, crank down this 360 degree MP rotator right here. This is an MP2000. There we go. Gonna open that up just a little tiny bit more. Hopefully you guys can see that, but that is as good as it's gonna get until I can add in that side strip and the uh, corner nozzle. So there you go guys, that is gonna be it for week two of sprinkler videos. I know quite a few of you guys missed this content, so now that it's coming back for a little bit here, I hope you guys enjoyed it. But anyway guys, that is gonna be it until next week. As always, thank you for watching.